The pillar of the Star Trek fan film community thrown under a bus as the Alec Peters deposition is released and we learn of a plan to forge a talent release form for Interlude. Plus, new releases, a viewing milestone and teasers for new films coming up. This is a special edition direct from Supernova in Sydney. This is Trek Zone's Fan Film Update. What you need to know in the world of Star Trek fan films now. After successfully lifting the seal covering the two depositions of Alec Peters for the Paul Jenkins counter lawsuit, we now know the depths of deception and misdirection surrounding Star Trek Axena. I'm trawling through over 450 pages to bring you comprehensive coverage of this developing story in our niche of a niche, so stay tuned. However, the first headline out of these depositions is the discovery of a line of questioning surrounding Jonathan Lane and his fan film Interlude. As I reported last year, Paul Jenkins, who originally filled the role of the engineer in the climax of the film and was working with Alec at the time, requested to have his cameo cut after that relationship deteriorated. Lane maintains that there was insufficient time to re-edit the film and he refused to delay its premiere. So it's now been revealed that he turned to Alec Peters and asked for a copy of Paul's signature on, quote, an NDA or legal filing or something. So that, quote, it could theoretically make its way onto a release form for interlude. This is the man who is held up as a pillar of the fan film community, whom many sided with after I maintained my distance from the whole Axanar debacle for the Fan Film Awards. On to other news. Six months after our first tease, we've been treated to glitches, a Star Trek fan film. From Snowwolves Productions, the description on Star Trek Reviews tells us that, quote, this is, my f is, is the first of many Star Trek fan films that my brother and I will be making, and I hope you enjoy. More to come. Please pardon the less than ideal quality. We did this during an open house and without proper equipment. Nonetheless, another Star Trek fan film has been released, and it's worth checking out. At the end of May, Starship Exeter, the Triorsian intersection, cracked two million views. After taking six and a half years to reach one million, the second milestone was reached in a little over a quarter of that time. I'm always fascinated by the YouTube algorithm and clearly it's at play here. Again, another great fan film worth checking out. The film was shot in 2004 and released a decade later, telling the story of the Exeter searching for a starship in distress when they find a destroyed starbase and a deepening mystery. Has an enemy species from Captain Gregor Garovic's past uh, invented the ultimate weapon, or is the truth even stranger and more deadly? Farragut Ford have held a successful, a successful filming weekend at Chaotica Studios. After releasing over 16 years from 2005, the team behind the hugely popular series have moved into the movie era with new sets and new costumes. This one is progressing met uh, methodically and stands to be a great addition when it's all completed. Aaron Vanderclay has posted a tease to his These Are The Voyages Instagram story showing us a highly edited photo of set construction. Aaron had told Trexone a couple of weeks ago that an idea was percolating and if he could get a group of actors together the film would move to the next stage. We might just be in that next stage. And finally, on this special edition of Fan Film Update, direct from Supernova Sydney, we're counting down to the 2023 Trexone Fan Film Awards. 19 categories, four nominees each, 59 eligible films. It's going to be a fast-paced and energetic show, headlining the celebrating 20 years of Trexone live stream event on Monday, July 10, from 7.30am Australian Eastern Standard Time. We are podcasting on YouTube and every podcast app. Find each of Trexone's shows on Google Podcasts or indeed Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, tuned in and more. Trexone's channel in the iTunes library as well gives you a one-stop shop to all of our podcasting goodness. So find Trexone and subscribe. On YouTube, membership continues to be available for less than a cup of coffee per month. Get early access and behind the scenes. This is a direct way to support Australia's only science, space and science fiction podcast network. And of course, our social media feeds get you the latest podcast highlights and Star Trek episodes. This is our 20th year to the world. I'm Matt Miller. We are Trek Zone, going boldly since 2003. Thanks Supernova Sydney for having us.